What's up everyone? Y'all want an outfit glitch video? You came to the right place. As always, you know me as GTA King and I want you to go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and please go ahead and join my GTA Discord server. Link will be in the description and so will the link to my Minecraft Discord server. Uh, but please keep the Minecraft content inside of Minecraft and keep the GTA content inside the GTA Discord server. Um, this is a full one console of, of how to make a modded outfit with logo transfer and on top of that app, you will get fully blown on invisible arms that will stay invisible now for my outfit I will be using green joggers now to get the green joggers you will have to get the red joggers that you can get inside the game and the only way you can do that is by having a friend or a random person that has a MOC that has the job in it called work dispute now how to get that job is you have to have an MOC and a bunker and you have to do enough of research missions inside of your bunker to unlock that job. If you start it up as host you can get black joggers but unfortunately you cannot get drink any color joggers with the black ones so you have to use the uh, red jogger so you have to join someone else's work dispute mission and but it's very easy i will put a link in the description on how to save the joggers once inside of that job and then also i will show you how to flip the colors using beth and two consoles but now keep in mind i do have to point this out to you it you can get by flipping the colors you can get pink joggers orange joggers purple joggers green joggers pretty much any color you can pretty much think of that you cannot get inside of the game now if you want to get pink joggers there's two ways of getting the pink joggers or from inside gta a if you have a female character only one way if you have a male character you're trying to get them on if you are trying to get pink jogger pink joggers on the male character you will need to put on you will need Beth and two consoles but now if you just want to get on your female character you can do Beth and two consoles also but you will need to have have that going for you or you can do a transfer glitch but now you, if you do the transfer glitch you will lose all your saved outfits that you made except for the outfit you put on prior to starting the transfer glitch and the transfer glitch does work different on old gen from new gen if y'all want me to make a video on that sometime I can just let me know and the comments below but let's get started and we're going to use these green pants as my I base so I'm just going to the closed door and I'm going to go to tops and I'm going to go to t-shirts and keep in mind for the whole time of this you're going to want your slot one outfit saved to be empty so go ahead just check and make sure your slot one is empty so mine's empty has nothing in it so you just want to go to t-shirts and tops and you just want to put any of the t-shirts on that start off at number nine or oh, number five for me which is the USA with the red with the American flag on it with a blue t-shirt and it says USA in white letters uh, you can start off by using that one all the way down for me where it will be a number or 18 but now the numbers can be different for y'all they always will not be the same so keep that in mind but all the way down to the t-shirt that's lime green that has the squiggly lines on the front so just keep that in mind my list might be different from yours so this t-shirt right here might be number or 70 
I mean, sorry, number 85. And it could be number or 14 for me. So I'm just going to use the gray t-shirt with the bicycle on it. You're going to put that outfit on. Once you have it on, you are going to go ahead and back out of t-shirts and you're going to get special tops and you just want to hover over any t-shirt name you're not going to select it you're just going to hover over it and you're going to press B and now the logo will be taken off of the t-shirt that you put on on your, your t-shirts so now you just want to save this in your slot 1 and we're going to call this part 1 slot 1 part 1 keep that in mind guys once it is saved now from here you want to go over to the counter and you just want to make sure it's saved but before you go fully to the counter you want to go back in your tops and go to go to special tops now but you always want to go to the counter make sure it's saved too. Just to double check to make sure you have it saved. But you can always check here too. So now you just want to go back to our special tops. And you want to put on the outfit that has the logo onto it. So we just want to go to special tops. And you want to go to the one that has the word logos inside of the name. So we're just going to use this one here. And we're equipped it. Now we want to go to our counter here. Press run D-pad. Go into outfit saved. And clip the outfit in slot 1. And that will put the logo onto it. Now we're going to save this as outfit in slot 1. So we're going to delete your slot 1 outfit. And we are going to name this part 2. So that's name part 2. From here we want to go back to tops. Go to utility vest. And it will be number 43 for me, but it could be different for you. And it's called the Peach Plate Carrier. So you just want to look for the Peach Plate character, Carrier, but for me, it's number 43. It's different for all people. It could be the same. You never know. Oh, so once you put that on, you want to save this as an outfit. So we're going to go back to our counter, and now we're going to name this part three. So now we did it, the logo transfer glitch. We got our peach plate on. So now what we want to do is just force a game save, but we're going to equip this outfit a few times through the interactions menu. So you just want to switch between your saved outfits that you have. Once you have that game save done, you want to go back into the menu by the counter. You want to go down to heist coveralls. And you want to put on any of the last four, either the blue one, the yellow one, or the black one or the white one as long as it's one of the ones that have the gas mask from there you can make your way to your apartment that has a telescope in it or you can use the pier I'm gonna use the pier and you want to do the telescope glitch now if you don't know how to do the telescope glitch you're about to find out here in this video Now, keep in mind, for all this, you will need a CEO or MC at the end, and you also need the job title, It's a G Thing, and I'll have the link to that in the description, so just bookmark that job, 
And once you get that bookmark, you just want to restart your game. If you had your game open by bookmarking it, and you'll find that job inside the pause menu under online, under jobs, and under bookmark jobs. It will not show up on the map at all, unfortunately, because it's a job that was once in the game that Rockstar kind of took out, but they didn't fully take it out. It's still in the game, but it's just in your jobs menu. So once you get to your telescope, you want to go sprinting by wearing the gas mask. So have cash in your pocket that you can use. So you want to go sprinting by, pressing right on D-pad. And you want to get your interactions menu open. And if you don't time it just right, your character will put his head inside of the telescope. So you just back out of the telescope and sprint by it again. You want to get the interactions menu open. And you want to go style. Put on your outfit that you just made. And then walk away. And the gas mask should transfer over. If you didn't do it right. Then you want to go back to the, the clothing store or your apartment. And put on the heist coveralls. Now sometimes to avoid that. If it does mess up just save the highest coveralls as outfit in one of your other slots you can just do that as simply and so keep that in mind from there you just want to make your way to the mask store and you just want to save this as an outfit from there you want to start up titan of a job by yourself so i'm just going to make my way over here to the mask store I'm just going to save this as an outfit and I will start up Titan of a Job. And then from one side of Titan of a Job, I'll explain to you what you have to do. So I'm just going to make my way. And I'm not going to try to hit too many AI so I don't get cops on me. So I can do this next part of the glitch. Try to avoid AIs if you can. Because he will get cops on you and then you have to try to worry about calling Lester. To get rid of the cops. So I'm just going to pull up. To the mask store. And I just want to save this. As slot number one. And we're going to name this one. Part four now. With our gas mask. So once that's saved as part four, from there you want to go to your pause menu, online, go to jobs, play a job, Rockstar create it, and you want to go to missions, and you want to go to a titan of a job. Once inside titan of a job, you want to fully start it up by yourself. You don't want anyone to join it, and unless they are making an outfit with you so two people can make this as now like I said you can have other people join you but unfortunately if you just do it by yourself there's no point for them to join you now if you did everything correct at from point A until the point B where you start Titan of a job when you load in the Titan you should have no peach plate carrier on but you should have the gas mask on so we did everything correct this time and now we're gonna head on over to our gun store save this as an outfit in slot one and then we're going to quit the job and then we're gonna equip two pieces of accessories and then we're gonna start up one final job that you will need a friend or a random person from a public session to join you. you know, and that is called It's a G Thing. And I'll show you where that comes in. So we're just going to make our way over to the gun store. And save this as outfit. And then we'll quit Titan of a Job.
So I'm just going to make my way over to any ammunition store on the map just to save this as an outfit. Once it's saved, I'll be good to go and safe to quit. So I'm just about to pull up the ammunition. Once I get out, I'm just going to go in. And I'm going to go to save this as an outfit. And I'm going to name this part five. So we're just going to name this now part five. Now, once it's named part five, you just want to pull up your phone and quit the job through the menu. Once you quit the job, you want to make your way inside a clothing store or ammunition. Now, I will spawn outside of ammunition while I spawn in wearing my outfit. And you want to make your way inside. Now, sometimes you'll get put into an invite-only session, but a lot of times you'll be put into a public session. I did get lucky. I got put into an invite-only. Okay. And now you just want to go to Tops. And you want to go down to Racing Jerseys. Once you are in Racing Jerseys, just pick out a Racing Jersey that you want to use. doesn't matter which one you use because only the neck will appear here just remember only the neck out of the shirt so you will have this shirt on but out of the racing jersey you will only see the neck around the, the collar but you will have invisible arms so you just want to look for the racing jersey so that's racer jackets we're looking for our racing jersey So once you get to racing jersey, and it's number 38 for me out of 54. And like I said, you just want to put on any of the racing jerseys. Now I have a gray t-shirt, so I just want to try to pick a color that will look good with the gray. Okay, that kind of blends in. And so I'm just going to put on this one. Then you want back out of racing jerseys. Now you want to go to leather jackets. And there's only certain type of leather jackets that you want to put on. So I'm going to go to leather jackets, not leather bombing jackets. You just want to go to leather jackets. And you want to look for a jacket that is zipped up, but it's kind of zipped down a little bit in the middle. You'll see what I mean here once I put one on. So you just want to scroll all the way through. Until you get to the ones that are a little bit closed but have a little bit of a... So starting right here, which is number 62 out of 73. Okay? This is what you're looking for where it's kind of zipped up half of the way. Hey, so starting at rusty, rusted leather jacket, you can use that one. Or you can use this one here underneath it. So you can use 40, sorry, you can use, use uh, 62 you know, all the way down to... Seventy three. So sixty two down to seventy three you can use those. So I'm just gonna use the red one. Red and leather jacket. And then once you put that on, it should be over the racing jersey. Now from here you want to open up your pause menu, go to online, go to jobs, 
play a job, bookmark job, and you want to look for it's a G thing. Once you find it's a G thing, you want to start it up and invite a friend. So it will be under missions, under bookmark job. And it's called it's a G thing. And I'll have the link to it inside the description below. With also how to flip uh, pants colors to get different color joggers. Once inside, whoever starts it up, whether you or the somebody starts it up for you. You want to set it to player saved outfits and you want a friend to join you or you can have a random person from a public session join you. Once you're inside of the job, you want to start it up. So we're just going to wait for my friend to join. And then I'll tell you where does it come into play where you need a... CEO o or MC that's coming into play real soon guys so I'm just gonna hit confirm on my settings and then I want to go ahead and hit play once I hit play because you're not gonna actually play the job guys you want to load into it so where we get to the part where I choose my outfit I want to switch one time to the right and then I want to go down to ready up and then I'll just wait for my friend to ready up and then we will wait a couple of seconds inside the job now I'm going to show you a way to quit the job that you do not get the alert that at warning you quit early so you might go into bad sport lobby so we just want to wait here about 10 or 15 seconds because the more you do this, like quitting a job for the phone, you'll keep getting the alert or bad behavior. You're about to go into a bad sport lobby for quitting job early. So what you want to do is now you only can do this if you have a Rockstar Social Club account and it's linked to your uh, Grand Theft Auto. So what you want to do is after waiting the length of time you want to open up your pause menu go to online and go to rockstar creator once you're in rockstar creator you just want to go to the pause menu go into gta online and it can be an invite only session public session i recommend doing an invite only session because if you end up at loading into a session that you cannot register as a CEO or MC because it's full of them. Uh, you will have to stay inside the session until you're able to uh, register as one. So we're just going to go to online and we're going to go to play GT Online, invite only session, and then once you're inside, of your invite only session you can register as an MC or a CEO your choice doesn't really matter it's your poison you can choose what you want so I'm just gonna register as a CEO now you will load in wearing the leather jacket and racing jersey so once you register as a CEO or MC, you want to go and get inside of a car. It could be one of your cars or AI cars. If you spawn inside on one of your buildings like I did, you can still do it from inside your building. So you just want to go and get inside of one of your cars. And you want to go to your interactions menu. Go to secure surf or MC, whichever one you register as. Go to management. Go to styles and go one time to the right and one time to the left using d-pad once you do so just get out of the car and then you will be wearing the gray shirt with the racing jersey underneath and just wait a couple of seconds and as you see my arms did turn invisible oh well, now i do have invisible arms now just go save this as outfit it and you can also customize this any way you want to oh but keep in mind if you add like any like if you change the top like the shirt or you will get your arms to reappear so pretty much all you can do pretty much to the top is pretty much just add gloves 
or some type of cuff bracelets. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to go to you know, accessories. And I'm just going to go to gloves and put on my own type of gloves that I want. It could be any. Color it does not have to be a certain color. So I'm just going to use the black armor gloves. And I am going to use cuffs. I'm going to use the cuffs that I like to use. Now I got my cuffs on. And then I just save this as outfit in any of my slots. I can put in any slot now. It does not matter. So we're just going to say and call this invisible arms and there you go you now officially made a full custom outfit with logo transfer and invisible arms and this will stay a invisible arms every single time you put on this outfit so just the force game save that you made this you just want to go to your your outfits and styles and just re-equip the outfit a couple of times to force the game save and there you go you have fully made a full outfit with invisible arms and logo glitch and if you want to add a face mask or anything like that to this, you can. And you can customize this however you want. But if you put any type of vest or anything on this, you will lose the invisible arms. Arms, just keep that in mind. If you change the shirt, if you change anything under tops, you will, re you will lose the invisible arms. So just keep that in mind. And I hope y'all find this glitch very successful and very easy. If y'all did, go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. And turn on post notifications for more GTA content in the future. And I will catch y'all inside of the next video.